Welcome to the Varsity Kansas Big Show. I'm Taylor Eldridge. This week I'm joined by Eisenhower coach Mark Marinelli. Coach, thanks for coming on. Uh, honored to be here. Uh, all right, the Tigers have a big one this Friday. First round of the playoffs are here in Class 5A and 6A. Eisenhower moved up to the 10 seed after a big win over Arc City last Friday. They will get a rematch with Andover. And Coach, I mean, this is a team that you guys beat two weeks ago. I mean, do you, do you like that matchup? Uh, do you like playing a team you've already played before? No, it terrifies me, <laughs> you know, because you always go back to looking at, you know, you, you, fall, you can fall into that trap of, you know, they're going to prepare for what worked against them, you know, two weeks ago, and then you get away from who you are. And uh, it's definitely a lot harder to beat a team twice than it is to come back, you know, play a team twice if you lost them the first time because you're chasing that, you're chasing your tail a little bit. Yeah, and you guys, after a rough start, you guys played a really tough schedule. I mean, you have some momentum now going into the playoffs. I mean, everyone knows about the run you guys had last year. So, I mean, do you feel like, I mean, is, is the same thing happening right now, do you feel like? I mean, you feel like you guys have uh, some momentum going in? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think this senior class who, you know, most of those guys who are on the field for us right now, you know, they were part of that run last year. And I think, it, I think the feel, of, the vibe of the team right now is that same you know, we've gotten in, we've got a little bit of momentum run going, and, and right now, you know, with a little luck, a little help, we can, we can go on that same run. Yeah, and uh, a kid that's really stood out to me this season was uh, Tanner King, uh, kind of coming out of nowhere, really good basketball player for Eisenhower, put him out wide, I mean, he's catching touchdowns, he's just a big play threat, I mean, how good has Tanner been this year? Uh, he's phenomenal. You know, uh, the thing about Tanner is that he makes the game extremely simple. He doesn't overthink things, but um, as big of an impact as he has on offense, he's right now playing his best ball at outside linebacker, which yeah. is we've kind of moved some things around, and uh, he's, he's going to be a special one. Yeah, and that defense, uh, that's the thing that a lot of people tell me about, just how physical you guys are, how nasty that defense is. Adam Brown, big-time disruptor on the defensive line. I mean, Tate and Loveland. I mean, you guys got a lot of guys on this defense. I mean, what, what makes this defense so tough? You know, I think it's just their, their mentality. You know, that, 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 you know, and our philosophy on defense is make them snap it again. And as long as we keep doing that, you know, we feel like we're going to have a chance to make a play down the road or, or during a drive. And, 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 uh, but those two guys, Tayton and Adam, you know, those guys have, have been in a lot of battles, you know, down, mm -hmm. you know, for three years. And they bring a lot of experience into the game and uh, a lot of great, great intense leadership between those two. Yeah, and you feel like just because of the run you guys did have last year, I mean, there is some kind of belief. I mean, even though I mean, you guys come into the playoffs with a 3-5 three and five record, uh, but you feel like just because of the experience from last year, I mean, is there kind of a belief that you, you just can't really teach or find, I mean, unless you've done it before? Yeah, I mean, we always, you know, I, I know that's cliche, but we practice or we preach, you know, we got to play our best ball at the end of the season. You know, it was a little easier to preach that when we had the district system. You know, but but we we definitely want to improve each week and peak at this time, and or and I feel like we're close to being where we need to be. Yeah, and if you guys are going to make a run again this year, what's what's the X factor? What has to happen for you guys? Well, we've got we got to we got to stop putting the ball on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> that's the number one thing right there. Um, you know, we've given a lot of teams some short fields, and um, it hasn't been fair to our defense at all. We feel like our defense is the strength of our team. And uh, we've put them in some very bad spots with that. But, you know, we just feel like one, one of these games and we're going to get the ball to bounce our way a little bit. Too, yeah. so. All right, I'll send you out on this one. I know you're a big Wu-Tang fan. So yeah. I think the people want to know who, which member of the Wu-Tang Clan do you most closely resemble and why? Well, the obvious choice would be ODB. Obviously. Okay. Uh, but on a personal level, Ghostface Killer. Is, that's, is my guy. That's what I was going to say, okay, too. That, that's my guy, you know. Uh, Why? His solo work is phenomenal. I think it's he's true. very underrated, you know, and he's very, he's, he goes about it quietly. Plus, there's not a single Ghostface song that doesn't have some sort of kung fu. That's very true. Quote, or from a movie. It's very it. underrated. Very underrated, so. Might be like the Eisenhower Tigers. Watch hey, out for him. There you go. All right, well, we'll have all the coverage on Friday night. Be sure to tune in to varsitykansas.com.